Having a heads-up display in VR has a lot of very neat applications. Not only is it a great way to keep track of information such as how much health the player has, how much mana they have, or their bullet count, but it can also be a great way in order to add a little bit of extra details if a player is meant to be wearing some sort of mask or a helmet. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to attach a very simple UI to the player's view so that way it can act as a HUD as well as how to control this HUD using a very simple slider that players can manipulate themselves. Before we go ahead and jump into that, if you enjoy this tutorial and want to see even more just like this one, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here by opening up the content browser. I'm going to go and right click and I want to create a new folder for materials. Now we're only going to have one material here for this tutorial, but I just like to keep things organized. So I'm going to go and set our material here called M underscore hood. Oh, that's supposed to be underscore hood. And I go and open that up. Now the reason for this material is this material is going to allow for our texture to appear in front of all the other actors that we have in the scene. So if a player, for example, sticks their head in the wall or if they stick their hand in front of their face and it's too close to the camera, then our UI won't appear behind anything. Um, and in case that's unclear, what we're going to end up doing here is we're actually going to have the UI uh, attached in front of our camera. It won't actually be uh, added to viewport as you may typically do if you've ever done like any sort of desktop applications or anything like that. And I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more once we get to that point. But let's go and get started here. So I want to go ahead and set the blend mode here to translucent. I'm also going to go and change shading model to unlit. You don't have to do that, um, but I just find that unlit looks better. It just tends to be a little bit better in my opinion. And now I'm going to come right on over here. I want to right click and I want to look up texture sample parameter 2D. I'm going to call this slate UI. And I want to come down here and do a couple of things. So first I want to change the sampler source to shared wrap. And I also want to change parameter to, what was it called? White, white square texture, there we go. And I'm going to feed the RGB into emissive color and the alpha into opacity. And this will uh, basically set up so that way we will actually still be able to see our UI even while it's sitting there in front of us. And I also want to, I did almost forget this. Let me go ahead and click on this. And I want to look up depth. And I want to make sure disable depth test is true because we because that's what will make sure that our UI appears in front of everything else. It won't appear behind anything. I'm going to go and apply and save that and close that out. And now let's go ahead and open up our content browser again here. And now we're going to go get started on our UI. So I'm going to go ahead and again, create a new folder here, call it UI. And I'm going to go and create a user interface here. And we want to make sure it's a widget blueprint. I'm just going to call this HUD here. So here in our HUD, this is what we're going to be using in order to determine what our player sees um, as we expect to do in a HUD. Um, so for this one, I'm actually going to have a simple progress bar down here at the bottom that we'll be able to control uh, manually. It's good. I'm going to try and design something that looks a little bit something like a health bar. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a progress bar here, bring this right to the bottom. And I'll go ahead, let's see here. I want to anchor this down here in the bottom center here. And I'm going to increase the size X to 800 here. And let me go and center this a little bit. And let's take that down a bit, 150. There we go. And I also want to, let me go and increase this percent here for a second. Our percent range is anywhere between zero to one. And I'm gonna go and check and set our fill color here to a nice bright red here. Uh, and I also wanna get rid of, I don't know how clearly you should, you'll be able to see this, but we got some, uh, some bars going back and forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that animation at the very least because I don't really need that. And I think that should be pretty good. Uh, I do also want to go ahead and add just one text here, just right above this, that we'll be able to see. Go ahead and place this down here. I'll just go and call this health text. And let's again go and anchor this down here at the bottom. Let's do 150 there and minus 75. 
We'll do like minus 200, I think that'll do. Yeah, it does. Cool. Health. And there we go. So that's gonna be nice, simple. Um, we don't really need a whole lot here, but we will be influencing this in our player itself. So I wanna go ahead and jump right over here. Uh, and we need to bind our percentage, so that way we can control this. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to our graph here. And when we're, control, when we're binding uh, values, especially float values, there's typically a couple ways of doing it. The easiest way is to simply go in, create a new variable, and I'm just gonna call this uh, health percentage. Go and change that to a float. And once we have that made, we can actually jump back into our designer and we can just bind that here in our percent. So we can just bind health percentage. And whenever we make a change there to health percentage, then it will automatically change what our percent appears as here. So that's nice, simple, easy to do, and we don't need to worry too much about that. So uh, I, that's all I'll do here for the HUD for this tutorial. So I'll go and close out of this, jump back over here. And now I wanna go ahead and jump into our player. So I'm gonna go and open up VR template, blueprints, and I wanna jump into VR pawn. Now, if you're working on Unreal Engine 4, you may have a different player, um, or your player may look a little different than what I have here. Uh, however, so long as you're in the root of your Unreal Engine 4 player, you should at the very least have the camera and you should have control over uh, your inputs, which is all we really need for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, let me first jump over into our viewport here. And I wanna go ahead and attach our UI to our display so our player will be able to see our HUD that we've created. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a widget. And I'm just gonna call this HUD widget. And then I want to attach that to the camera. So let me also go ahead. Uh, we need to set our widget class here to the HUD that we created. So I'm going to go and set that to HUD. As of right now, this is a little bit big, but we'll fix that here in one second. I'm going to go ahead and move this out from our player. I find that 100 tends to be a pretty good value. You may want to go further out or closer to the player, depending on what you want. And I'm also going to go and rotate this 180. And then now we wanna make sure that this is decreased to the point that we're actually able to see it within our player. Actually, let me also go ahead and set our draw size here to 1920 by 1080. I find that, we, that that's typically a pretty good value to have there. Uh, and then let me go ahead, I'm gonna decrease our scale. I actually wanna lock that so we, so that way we scale all of our values at the same time. I'm gonna set that to 0.1 and that should work pretty well. Now, if you want to check to see what your HUD will somewhat look like once we actually have our player in, we can actually go right into the scene, drop it in our display, and we can actually see roughly what it'll look like. So this doesn't look particularly clear, um, but it should be good enough for what we're looking for once we're finally in the headset. Um, so I'm just gonna go and leave that as is. Let me go ahead and delete that, and we'll jump back into our VR pawn here. And now let's go ahead, oh, before we go ahead and go on to our blueprint. Let's also go ahead and set our element here to M underscore hood. There we go. And that also kind of gives us a, a nice general view as to what the whole thing looks like. And then I also want to come down here and I want to make sure that our collision preset is set to no collision. Because this is the UI and it should be attached to the player, we should expect that our player shouldn't be able to, act, to uh, access this and modify it. Um, except for maybe through uh, inputs on your controller. So, so pressing A, B, uh, trigger, grip, so on and so forth. Uh, however, we do wanna make sure that our widget interaction components, if we have any in the scene, will not be able to interfere with this, along with any line traces or anything like that. So we wanna make sure we have no collisions whatsoever. Now let's go and jump over to our event graph. And I'm actually going to take our triggers here that we actually have. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these execution nodes we have here. There we go. And we're quite simply going to want to, we're quite simply going to modify our overall health for our player. So in order to do this, I'm gonna go and create a variable here. I'm just gonna call this health, change that to a float. And I'm actually going to set the, let me go and compile that. I'm gonna set the default value here to 100. So since we'll typically want to start with full health. And now I'm going to want to jump down here. On pressed on our trigger left, we're going to decrease our health value. On right, we're going to increase our health value. 
So this is actually pretty simple. So I'm going to go and get our health value. I'm going to subtract here, let's say 10. I think 10 will be pretty good. I also want to go and clamp this as well. So I'm going to clamp that float between zero and 100. Make sure that we can't go below zero since that won't really make much sense. And then we'll go ahead and set health. There we go. And then with all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and divide this value by 100. And now at this point, we'll, we wanna go and grab our HUD that we had originally uh, designed, and we wanna set, set that health percentage that we have in our UI. So I'm gonna go and grab our HUD widget here. I'm going to get user widget object and I'm going to cast this to HUD. And now we should be able to access that health percentage that we originally had. So I'm going to set health percentage. There we go. And that will be that. So I'm just gonna go and copy this all for our right trigger. Go and copy and paste all of that. There we go, except instead of subtracting 10, I'm going to want to add 10. There we go. And that will allow for us to control that health bar that we had originally set up in our player. Now, one, one more thing that I did almost forget to do here is I wanna come right up to our begin play. Actually, let me go ahead and copy our HUD here. I'm gonna go and copy all that. I'm gonna come right up here to our begin play and I wanna make sure our health percentage is set to one by default. So that way it will actually be able to see it at full health and it won't automatically jump all the way up to the top or anything like that. And that completes all of our setup for our HUD. It allows for us to control our heads up display. It'll allow for us to have a health value that we can see and so on and so forth. So uh, now I'm gonna go and jump into VR and we'll be able to see what this all looks like. So before I go and jump into VR, there's something I wanted to note here that you guys will probably end up noticing in the video itself, is that our health won't actually look center. Um, and the reason for this is if I actually go and drag out here, you can see it center here. Uh, to me, what I see in the VR headset, it will look center as well. However, when we go ahead and press play here, it'll actually open a new viewport window and we'll actually see what I am seeing out of my left eye. Because of this, the UI will actually be slightly off center and it may even cut off a part of the rightmost side of the UI for you. So it might look a little bit more off to the right and it might even appear a little bit bigger than what it actually is possibly even a little bit lower than what it actually is. So it is something to keep in mind if you're doing this for yourself and you're looking to develop a HUD for yourself, make sure you throw on the headset so that way you actually see what it'll look like and not just what you are seeing here on screen. So uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into VR here. All right, so I am now here in VR now. So uh, I now have the health hub in front of me. As I mentioned before, it probably won't look centered to you. For me, it appears right in center here. Um, but you can actually see if I go and press my left and right triggers, I can go ahead and affect our health value here. And of course, if you wanted to set some sort of death or something at the end, then that works fine as well. Um, as I said, you're probably only seeing what's coming out of my left eye, not my right eye. Um, so it's not looking centered to you. But for me, it's, it looks just fine. It looks pretty clear. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's a little bit big for probably what it should be, but it is there and it is something that I can see and I can easily see what is going on. And no matter how close I get the either of my hands to my face, I'm not able to affect uh, you know, uh, affect the way our UI looks. It always appears in front of everything else. So um, I could even try sticking in the ground, uh, a little something like this. I probably should have put up a wall or something, but I can try sticking in the ground and that should actually be in the ground right there, but I can't actually, I can still see it perfectly fine. It's not affected in any way and it moves out perfectly fine with no matter where it is I go. And with that, that's how we put together a very simple heads up display that players are able to see in their VR view, as well as how to simply modify some of the values on the UI itself. 
With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. I also want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters who you should see over here on the right hand side. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.